Oh wow, been a while since I did this game. Mage Knight 404, welcome to Let's Play Fire on Path 3 and Ike Marsha Duo. So, we last left off, Ike got his epic on, and I actually leveled him up like twice with bonus experience off the screen. And I leveled Marsha to 20, just cause. Moldy Onions! Forge Javelin, just for you. Let's see, info. This thing of a soldier. Do Ike! All troops ready to move out! Alright, can you have them wait? Do you want them to fall out in their tents? Or would you rather they form up a stand at attention? Go ahead and have them stand down. I'll call them when I'm ready. Yes, sir! <sighs> Begging your pardon, sir. All troops in order to stand down. However, General Tom's requests her orders. Are our Pegasus Knights to stand down as well? Am I supposed to decide that too? General Ike, you've been given command of the entire army, sir. We will not move without your orders, sir. General Taunus' troops, order to follow General Taunus' orders. Understood, sir. General Taunus' Pegasus Knights will not be deployed unless there is a request for reinforcements. Those are the orders of General Taunus. This is actually important. By your leave, sir. <clears throat> this is from Taunus. Taunus, do you have a moment? General Ike, what is it? Is there a problem? Hmm... I thought you might be able to provide me some information. Yes? What can you tell me about King Dane? I'd like to know something of him before I have to face him in battle. Truth be told, I never fought him either. I cannot give you any specifics, but I will tell you what li little what I do know. I can make sure my leg is on? Please. Whatever you can tell me would be appreciated. Ashnard's coronation. Let me see. Yes, it was 18 years ago. You see, a plague had struck the capital, spreading out to affect the surrounding region of Navasa and beyond. Ashnar was crowned the year after that great tragedy finally subsided. In the entire history of Telius, no calamity has claimed the lives of so many Beerical and the Goose, not since the Great Flood. Two years before, it struck Megneon, and the entire population of Serenus was nearly obliterated. The year after that, close to a thousand Bjork, nobles and peasants alike, perished in Dane. Nobles, you say? Is the royal family who fell victim to this plague as well? Yes, the reigning king and queen and some twenty or so princes and princesses fell ill. Damn. That's a lot of princes and princesses. Jesus. And everyone who fell ill per fell ill per bleh, fell ill perished. Jesus, why is that hard to say? <laughs> For a time, the people despaired of losing the entire royal bloodline of Dane. It seemed that none would survive. And yet, Ashenart survived. He did. It is quite interesting in a sense. You see, his name was never mentioned in any talk of succession before that time. He was of such a distant bloodline that he was unlikely to be, unlikely to be king. In another place, though, his name was already well known. Where was that? On the battlefield. As you know, Dane is home to many brave warriors. At the time, then Prince Ashnar was said to have been a match for an entire troop of Pegasus Knights. Begnion and Dane both could close watch over their borders, and their patrols fought in many skirmishes. Although there was no war to speak of, these land disputes did end with Dane claiming a small portion of Begnion's soil. It would be no exaggeration to say that this was solely due to the strength of one man, Ashnard. <sighs> Forgive me, I have spoken longer than I intended. It's about time we got back to the business of marching preparations. No, thank you for telling me so much. It would have been another, if we had another chance, please share more of your stories. Understood. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting backstory. And this is from Tormod. Ike! Which truce are we following with? We have received no orders yet. Tormod, Morum, I know I asked you many times, but are you sure you want to be here? You keep asking that. Maybe you don't want us here. Is that it? I don't. I don't know what. You, I don't know what to think. No, it's not that at all. To be honest, the battle ahead is going to be hard. It looks bleak. I'd rather that those without direct ties to crime not get involved. A bleak battle? What about trying to free, free all the slaves in Begnion? Now those were bleak battles. Bleak battles are our specialty, right, Morum? Yes, you are. Yet, thanks to Ike's time in Begnion, things have changed completely. That's right. The Apostle has promised to press their investigation until there's not a single Lugu slave left in the entire nation. So, there's no reason for you two to be continue fighting, is there? You don't owe me anything. We're going to fight with you, Ike! We want to help! It is our right to join you in this. This is your right to refuse us. To be perfectly frank, I would be willing to beg to get you to join us. Both of you, alright? Alright. <laughs> you can count on us! Well, we won't be counting on you, but at least we are for support. Okay, let's get, let's GTFO.
Ooh. Torgaren, the border. Hmm? My Lord Ike, are preparations complete? What's up, Lincia? Yes. The enemy should not yet be aware that we've come this far. We're going to launch a surprise attack and try to capture the wall on our first charge. Please wait for us at the base camp. Very well. There was no need to look so worried. We're well prepared. And we've got you as our good luck charm. Thank you for that, but do be careful, my Lord Ike. Hey, don't worry. This may be our first battle with Fischl Army, but we've fought Jane many times. We're going to win. After all, I can't lose in my very first battle with a snooty noble. Now can I? Ha <laughs> I believe in you, and I know that you will be victorious. Come back safe. Aw, oh, thanks, Lincia. Is everyone ready? Let's move out. Hold them more, my lord Ike. In the sky, something's coming. Who's that? Hey, it's the barn. Ah, uh, Ike, well met. It appears that you're getting ready for your first battle as Crybaby's army. And you're escorting the heron suddenly back to Phoenicis, right? That was the original plan, but someone here insisted that we follow you. Quite unreasonably, I might add. You treat us with courtesy, Bjork. We must act accordingly. Isn't that so, Leanne? Golder speak! You said your name was Ike, correct? Yes. You aided my sister and me during a time of danger. We herons hold courtesy in high esteem. Huh. We must repay our debt to you. That's really not necessary. We are practitioners of state magic. We cannot fight. But we can imbue our allies with strength. If you so wish it, I will travel with you. In this way, I will repay you for what you have done. You can allow Rayson to join or refuse his company. If you allow him to join, he'll join your party. If you refuse, you get a renewal scroll. You were lucky to find your sister. Shouldn't you stay by her side? Leanne understands what I what I do. I see. In that case, welcome. Thank you. I swear with the honor of my clan to do with all I can to strengthen your cause. It's settled then, and you'll get your aid from me as well. Janath! Right here, your majesty! You'll go with the Crimean army and protect Rayson. Leave it to me! You too, Olki. Alright? Of course. To Barn. It's too much, I cannot accept this. You're already watching over Leanne and my father as well. These past twenty years. I know what it's been like for you living in Phoenicis. I'm only sorry I can't do more. To Barn. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. King Phoenicis, I will guard Rayson well. When Crimea is retaken, I will see him safely return to you. I will take you at your word. Your actions have created a bond of trust between yourselves and the Hawk and Heron clans. If you find yourself in dire position, you can call on me. No matter what, I will fly to your aid. Motherfucker to warn! Thanks, Mr. Coconut Man! We gained a strong ally when we had not thought to look for one, didn't we? Yes, Piyok and Lagoos. Beast tribe and Burr tribe. There is no difference between us. We finally understand one another. Yes, I think you're right. Now let's really get started. Everyone, move out! So we got quite a number of allies. Three walls. First, we have Tanith, a Falconite, who's level 10. She comes with a Sonic Sword and a Short Spear. She has a nifty skill called Reinforce. At your prerogative, you can have her use this skill to call two pe two, NPC two partner Pegasus Knights and one partner Falcon Knight to for you to control. You can use this twice per chapter. Tana's is all right unit all by herself, actually. Not, not the best, but hey, she does her job and does it well. Grayson, a heron. He is Canto and Blessing. With these, he Canto lets lets him use his magic, lets him use his sage magic to let others move again, like a dancer in the Fire Emblem series. Janaf and Oki also joined the fun. Janaf is hit, while Oki has evasion on his side. Both are cool, I guess, but that doesn't matter anymore. Ike is going to be taking the field, pretty much, while Marshall will provide support. There's quite a bit here. Nothing too, nothing too serious. Oh, there are chests. I, I think I should bring Volk, maybe. Maybe. If Shinon were alive, he'd be right here with a brave bow, but he's not. You could get him back if you have Rolf on your team, have, have Rolf talk to him, then defeat him with Ike. 
The boss is KHA, a siege. He has tornado. And the hill. Alright, I guess this will do. Okay, let's start this.